Good morning, welcome back to Football Digest Daily. Like you can see, we eat, sleep, football. And then repeat because you're mad about football like that over here. Now, the Premier League is back, guys. You're not talking days now. We're talking hours. And it's not 24 hours. It's more like 12 hours. In fact, it's less than 12 hours since the Premier League kicks off. Because Arsenal is going to be kicking off against Brentford. Messi has joined PSG finally, donning jersey number 30. And Lukaku has returned to his ex. Now, the Premier League is back, man. It's kicking off tonight. Arsenal is taking on Brentford. We've waited for 76 days. Without Premier League action, man, I'm excited. I'm excited the Premier League is back. But as an Arsenal fan, I'm not so much excited, man. In fact, I'm, I'm kind of scared. Against Brentford, man. Brentford were one of the best teams in the championship last season. They were playing swashbuckling football. So much so, I think they were the highest scorers in the championship. Now, they finished third. They did not win because, you know, Norwich were doing the thing over there. But they were among one of the best teams. And they have some quality-ass players, man. I'm talking Ivan Tony. I'm talking Saji Canos. I'm talking Buemo. I'm talking uh, Rico Henry, who's actually a right back, who's actually going to give Pepe a very hard time because he's very good overlapping. He's very good tackling one on one and intercepting the ball. Ay, ay, ay. Pepe Leo Atakuana Kazi, man. So, Arsenal, on the other hand, man, of course, pleasing to deceive, getting us Ben White. And you're thinking, oh, great, we are actually spending 50M on a player. We might actually go and spend, like, what, 70 on an attacking midfielder? <laughs> Yeah, 12 hours, less than 12 hours to the Premier League, and Arsenal has not sorted out its creativity problems. Now, Arsenal last season, defense like Kwashida, creating was a problem. So I'm thinking, going into the transfer window, one of the things we're going to be looking at first has to be getting a creative midfielder, right? Wrong. We are yet to sort that out. We are yet to sort out our right-back issues. We are yet to sort out our striking issues, as in, what the hell are they waiting for? Honestly, now I know we've gotten Sambi Lokonga, but Thomas Party is out. I'd honestly rather start with uh, Sambi Lokonga over El Neni. Again, what are people like El Neni still doing at this club? What are people like Kolasinak still doing at Arsenal? As in, yo, man, I'm just, I'm not happy. I am disappointed as an Arsenal fan. I don't know what the hell likes of a do are doing there. Now, there was this statistic that came out yesterday where fans were asked to choose their best manager in the Premier League. And our manager, Mikel Ateta, came out 19th out of 20. Yo! To be honest, that kind of broke my heart, man. It kind of, I know Ateta is not the best, but it can't be that bad. Come on. This is when I'm holding no prisoners, right? You have to get your shit straight. And let me say this. It's a new season, so I'm starting off on a new slate with everybody. Every player. Aubameyang, William, everybody. New slate. It's a new season. I'm not bringing backlog of hard feelings from last season. I'm not doing that shit. So I want to see what these guys are going to do when you actually get down to it. So I'll support every player. I'll support the manager until they start fucking up. Any fuck up, I'm not going to support any fuck ups. Me, I, I ain't supporting no fuck ups. So as long as they're doing the thing, they have my support. Anything less than that, they don't have my support. They don't. Absolutely not. I disagree to support mediocrity and... I'm not going to do that. So Arsenal versus Brentford kicking off at 10 p.m. is going to be a cracker. It's actually a London derby, but others are calling it a mid-table derby. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know how it's a mid-table when Brentford were actually not in the Premier League last season. So how did they become a mid-table team? I would love to know. Of course, Messi left Barcelona, finally joined PSG. And man, the reception was mad, wasn't it? As in, it was insane. And then the growth of PSG in terms of numbers in statistics and on, on social media and everything. I mean, these guys, I understand they sold, is it 200,000 jerseys in 24 hours? Man, crazy, right? And I think they generated like a revenue of 100 them with that. And of course, they only keep like a certain percentage, is like 10%. So 10 them done in 24 hours. Yo, as in, can you imagine how much they're going to make in a month? Leave that. How much will they make in a season? They might just make the whole wages for Messi in a whole season. Anajilipa, in other words. So, it was nice to see the reception was mad. He's going to be kicking off. Uh, he's going to be starting off his first game, I think, uh, two weeks from now. It's not starting. Uh, of course, Lagoon has already kicked off. It has already kicked off. So, it's going to be interesting to see. Of course, yesterday was his first day in training. You could see him joining up with the likes of Ramos, which was kind of crazy and confusing to see. Messi hugging Ramos. Wakiwa teammates. Who would have thought of that shit? 
Messi now is teammates with Mbappe. Messi is teammates with Neymar. Teammates with Angel Di Maria. And it's not national team. It's club football. So, I mean, they're doing good. And maybe this year they'll eventually finally win the Champions League. I mean, they've been missing out on it for a minute now. They made, you, you know, you have to maybe should just give them the Champions League. To Malizei story, Mapema. Right? Yeah, maybe. That's debatable. Another guy who left his club is Lukaku. And this was a case of the ex. You know that song, and it was a case of the ex, I think, by... Is it Maya and Jay-Z? Yeah, that was what uh, Inter Milan was hit with by Lukaku because he's gone back to his ex. Yeah, one who actually dumped him. So loser. <laughs> yeah, but of course, Lukaku has gone back to Chelsea uh, for a heck of a deal, man. 97.5 million pounds. Oh my God. As in Chelsea are spending 97.5 million pounds on one player. Now I get it. Of course, there's the Champions League winners. They're in the Champions League. So they got the choose. So that's all right. But Lukaku, man, going back to your ex, man, I'm telling you, you better come through, bro. As in, because the number of people waiting to troll on that guy. I'm telling you, people work on a vitu kwa archives. They're just waiting to unleash until Lukaku flops, man. Ah, uh, I don't want him to flop. I want him to do well. But if he does flop, I won't give a shit again. So... It's going to be interesting. So, that's what's up, man. So much has happened. Man United is yet to unleash, unveil uh, Rafael Varane. Maze, I'm a sana. Hey, Adi Amezeka. I saw another picture doing rounds of Varane when he'll be finally unveiled, looking like a 70-year-old player. <laughs> so, I can't wait for that to happen. And, of course, the transfer window is still going on. So much is going to be happening, and I'm looking forward to it. So, we're going to be looking deeply into the predictions for the season. I'm going to be doing a video for the same. Right. Don't forget, if you have not joined the uh, Fantasy Premier League, you should do so. We have some goodies. We are planning on having some goodies. And I can't kind of merchandise. You know, just having something to compete for each and every month. But we'll be giving you details about that later on. Right about now, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. And check out our Instagram and Facebook pages at Football Digest KE.